Lawrence Dakwa um, from secondary school had the ambition or expectation to become a chemical engineer. But fate would find it such that I didn't get the opportunity to come into Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology to read chemical engineering for first degree. So I was offered the opportunity to either read chemistry or metallurgical engineering. And metallurgical engineering is a subset of chemical engineering in the big picture. So I chose to do metallurgical engineering. And fortunately, getting to final year, one of my mentors, Professor Isiam, taught us one of the courses in biohydrometallurgy, where he showed us the potential of using microorganisms to extract um, valuable minerals such as from gold as it is practiced in Obuasi now. So that's wet my interest again that then I need to get back to that original uh, ambition of becoming a chemical engineer. So I got the opportunity after the first degree to start be a founding lecturer at Kum uh, Kumasi Polytechnic then which is now um, Kumasi Technical University to be a founding lecturer in the metallurgy and foundry. And then I got the opportunity to go and do my master's degree in industrial biotechnology. And I came back to the country to continue the journey of uh, extracting gold using the biological processes in then Ashanti gold fields. So, after four and a half years over there, then I realized that more of the chemical engineering opportunities still existed and the passion was increased. So I pursued a scholarship opportunity and the Ghana government and the Commonwealth scholarship granted me a scholarship to go and do chemical engineering. Um, given that vast background, my interest has been in the mineral processing but also looking at the wastes so i look more into the environmental engineering which is an aspect of chemical engineering and there i use the tools of the microorganisms so to do things like bioremediation processes so i research in bioremediation of oil and petroleum contaminated materials. So I've got some publications in that area, which is published in SPE. In that area, we were able to do in the association with Zeal Technologies, based in Shama, uh, Takrade environment, 200 tons of oil waste. We use microorganisms to process and clean um, the oil from the waste material and then obtained a very clean soil material or solid material which could now be reused. Again, I also had an interest and I'm a fellow of the Energy Center of the College of Engineering in Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. And in there, um, we've been working in biodiesel, again, using lipase, that's a, an enzyme as a catalyst. Again, at the same time, we use transesterification processes, which are pure chemical engineering processes to produce biodiesel using waste oil from cooking materials. And then we've done that uh, at the laboratory levels, proving the technologies as well. And again, I've been working on biogas, as the common man will call it, but we want to bring it back to the original scientific name of anaerobic digestion. And we realize that people have the misconception that that technology is not too functional in this world, or when I say this world, the world of Africa and Ghana in particular. It was initially started in the 60s, and in the 1980s, Apollonia the experimentation was done at the large scale level under 1982-83 period, but it did not survive. So 
uh, under the able leadership of the then director of the energy center, Professor Brew Hammond, we went back into investigating what were the technological, economical, and the other factors that might have militated against the technology. So we have a whole research team on that. And that has culminated in 2022 that one of my PhD students, now Dr. Salome, graduated with a profound mathematical expression deduction from how the various components of the biogas you can use mathematics to even predict without doing experimentation again. On the biogas, as the ordinary people call it, um, when you say biogas technology, it drifts the mind of everybody towards the gas that we will be obtained after the anaerobic digestion has taken place in the biogas digester. And we think that that is a misleading and terminology to use. We would rather wish at the energy center and with my colleagues like Dr. Elias Aklaku, um, who I've been working with, and other people that we have worked with also in that same area, we rather want us to focus more on the sanitation, direct sanitation benefits that that technology holds. We think that the gas is a byproduct, it's, 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 a, it's a bonus that will be obtained when the microorganisms, after they have broken down the complex structures of the feedstock, then the gas that will be generated, some of them may be uh, combustible, especially the methane fraction. I met Prof. Uh, Dakwa as an undergrad student uh, he taught me a, a couple of courses. He became my final year project supervisor. And I would say that he's one of the people who inspired me to come into academia. It wasn't really um, a dream starting chemical engineering here. Uh, but he's one of the key people who talked me into coming back into academia. And coming back, he's been like a father who, who guides through all the things that I do and currently he happens to be the co-supervisor for my PhD work um, which is focusing on using indigenous bacteria for the removal of sulfur from crude oil and diesel fuel and I'll say that it's been very instrumental in the, the progress we've made so far. I'm actually at the latter part of the PhD hoping to submit my, my thesis by the close of this year and, and graduate and he's, he's very strict. Uh, straightforward gentleman and resource oriented is focused on getting the outcome of anything that we have to do and very um, Professor Lawrence Darkwa was actually my lecturer in third year when he took me for one of my courses mechanical separation processes he was actually very um, inspirational then I think that was the, the time I decided to try to talk to him more, he was very um, forthcoming. And he was also very easy to approach and talk to. And he became my um, project um, supervisor for my third year project. I was working on an assessment of biological process plants at the time. And I made a lot of um, findings with regards to anaerobic digestion, specifically for a food waste reactor. Yeah. Um, anaerobic digestion is um, the process whereby we break down organic materials um, with uh, microorganisms. And this is done mainly because of um, trying to curb um, environmental waste. Yeah. So for food waste, we have a lot in the country, but even um, worldwide, and they are disposed of anyhow, which cause um, environmental issues, the spreading of pathogens in the environment. This technology helps us to clean the, the waste material, and from there we are able to produce biogas, and 
um, a solid liquid byproduct known as the digestate, which we can also use for, as um, a fertilizer. Because I worked specifically on a food waste uh, reactor, I found out that on a large scale, it would actually be very difficult to, um, to use the myriad of food waste um, feedstock because current research focuses on just singular types of feedstock in the environment. But with a household reactor, you are combining different kinds of food waste that you work with in the house. When you cook, you have um, tomato peels, onion peels and whatnot. And all of that can be put into the reactor to um, generate this biogas and digest it. But then on a large scale, it would be difficult to control the kinds of um, biogas that you would obtain and maintaining the microbial community that you need to um, to make sure that yes the system actually works properly i feel very humbled and privileged and i i give it all to god who is the sustainer of my life and he's giving me this opportunity to have come through this far and i feel honored and i'm grat grateful to KNUST for all the support that they've been rendering uh, or giving me and my research counterparts and colleagues. I'm also grateful to my industrial partners uh, who have also had confidence in us. Uh, I'm highly privileged to have been given chances also at the national level to have led different teams for different national assignments. So I'm grateful for them for all of these opportunities given me. Um, but looking forward to the future as a Guinean. I think we owe it to the nation for the investment that the country has put in us to give the best that we have in terms of our mental resources, train more engineers, more knowledgeable people who will transform and impact our economy in particular.